last time we brought the car in, we had suspension work and brake work done, about $22,000. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Another day in paradise, kingdom of Boca Raton, the Mecca. Four more and two tunnels. Yeah. As you see, I'm doing my thing on this masterpiece of the Picasso. You no. Know, one artiste working on another artiste's work. Pretty much, I worked my way around. I just got this panel, and this panel, this panel, and the front fender, and then the top. And that's pretty much left, what's left for the top half. And then I'll go around to the bottom. I'm gonna lift the car up so I don't gotta be squatting on the floor and all that. So I'm gonna nice. lift it, put it on jacks, and I'll go around to the bottom half of the car, the wheels, and that's, that's, that's it. We'll get it out of here. I think this is gonna be a surprise for something big, so gotta get it right. Beautiful. It's like a purple metallic -y type of color. It's, it's so amazing. It looks amazing. And not only is it beautiful paint color, but the interior as well just it complements it so well. It's just an amazing car all the way around. I love it. I love it. Right now I'm just going over the spots that I, uh, the panels that I already touched up. So I just hit this half of the roof. As you can see, I'm just looking over. There's still some little like edge marks in it that I want to try to get out. So I'm going to do another pass over here. And then along here, I'm going to get uh, the smaller buffer so I can hit this trim up right here and get that all cleared up, get it all looking right. But pretty much this half of the car is almost done. Just stay tuned for the final results because it's gonna look amazing. Watch when it pulls into the showroom. That's the ultimate test. Them showroom lights are unforgiving, guys. I promise you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Kingdom of Boca Raton, me and my brother Daniel, the biggest ever do it. You already know it's between the collective. Kind of a slow day over here today, not much going on. We had Julio working on the Picasso, getting things right. We also had Jack trying to come do the turbo build, but he couldn't make it out today. Daniel right now is gonna run over to the Mercedes dealership. I burnt through my brakes, they're no good. Yeah. Thousand uh, horsepower, braking, overtaking, braking, overtaking people. Bad. Oh my God. The Rentex destroying the, the brakes, so he's gonna go to the dealership right now, get some new brakes installed. Paying full price. And at the same time, pick up the 57S because it also had an issue, you know what it is with the Maybox, they're older cars. Paying full price. Big money on the Maybox, but it is <laughs> what it is. So Daniel's gonna head right now to the dealership, go drop off the Rentec Green Goblin and pick up the 57 Silver Surfer S. So here we go, guys. Let's go. Another day at the Patina Collective. Let's go. In a Maybach. I'm really upset we don't have a license plate though. Oh, fucking A. Yeah, we took it off here. All right, so we just brought in the E63S Rentec 1000 horsepower and wagon because uh, the brakes were squealing. And uh, most cars, about most Benz is 30,000 miles. You know, and then you take a look at the brakes, but when you have an AMG, that's tuned, that's super fast, big, heavy car, you know, relative to other, other uh, supercars and you drive it the way we drive it, sometimes you gotta change the brakes early. So I'm gonna pull out of here and we're gonna review how much we spent today on having the Maybach 57S we're in uh, brought up to speed. And really what we were getting is just a lot of check engine lights over and over again. It turned out to be an issue. We had to replace the coil packs. So on both sides, let's pull up next to these electric cars. Terrible, Trash. horrible. Trash. So let's see here. You know, it's important when you have cars like this and other AMG cars that you want to hold in prestige and value for long term. Yes, you can do a lot of work yourself on cars that are, you know, post a certain era that don't, that when you can actually get parts and get access to parts. But it's always great if you want to take in a car you see as a long term investment to the dealership and have those records just for yourself. 
Some jobs you may just want to get assessed there and you get them done somewhere else. But just to know exactly what's happening, say it's been to the dealership, had a look to the dealership, um, you know, means a lot. And it's uh, it kind of gives that golden seal on it for the next the next person that may inherit the car after you. So here we have, let's see, remove and replace both coil packs, all plugs, all spark plugs, clear fault codes, which shouldn't cost anything. Perform fuel injector cleaning service. Who would know? But these guys are great. I have faith they did a great job. These cars are always always come back great from uh, Mercedes of Delray down here in, in South Florida. But with tax about $5,200, $5,200 to get the work done on a Maybach that's part of it. Last time we brought the car in, we had suspension work and brake work done about $22,000. So um, buy a Maybach if you can. If you can do the work yourself and do that all and have faith in it, perfect. Um, if you can't find the most qualified mechanic around you to trust with these cars, um, don't bring it there. You have to bite the bullet and take it to the dealership sometimes because they'll do the job, they'll do it right, and hopefully you can hold them accountable to their work. Because of these cars, you know you're going to pay, so sometimes it's worth paying a little bit more to save yourself a headache in the future. Seven Cooling Special and the R129 Cooling Special straight to the stadium. Let's see if they make it. A lot of these cars sit around. We don't know uh, the bad gas is in them. We don't know the bad batteries in them. So we gotta figure it out when we drive them. Charging on the desk. Oh. All right, we gotta go because the gas is gonna die. There's no gas in the car. Yeah. Everything. I got it. Please. You shouldn't have had it sitting like that. I mean, it's better that it, it did it here than... It was gonna overheat regardless on the way. Oh, that's, that's honestly good that it did it here, yeah, bro. Yeah, for real. It's all just hard, why did it overheat? But this one, Louis was supposed to look at that one. Because remember we were gonna take it to Lakewood last time it was doing the same shit, it was dying. We already had this issue. That. Why are all the cars overheating? I started down, I was like, yo, it's hot as fuck in here. A lot of these Koenigs, they just they sat around for 20 years in uh, Germany. Some of them are not made for hot climate. They're not like uh, tuned for hot climate. So you need to change the thermostat, things like that. You ever make it out? We didn't make it nowhere. I mean, I thought I thought it would happen because I already knew this car was problematic, but I thought maybe we can get to the highway and then cool it down once we uh, get some air in the engine. <laughs> Yeah. Bog out. Right when you think it's going good, it just dies on you. It's called technology. Uh, same thing always happens with these uh, R107s. You know I mean? They bog out. They just sit around too long. Bad guys, bad mechanics. Combination. to the big stadium, we took the Koenig Gen 2. Uh, the other Koenigs didn't make it, unfortunately. It's becoming a theme on this channel. Koenigs breaking down, overheating. That's just what they do by nature. A lot of these cars are hideous to people. They put them away, they were hiding them. They were disgusted. They were ashamed. We won't get it right though. Let's go. Right now, man, just wiping down all the showroom cars because uh, we gotta get them all ready for Monday. 
Got a special guest coming through to look at everything. So, got to represent Satinato and Patina. We the best, you know. Got to keep them clean. Pull up, like, yo, you got all these cars, but they looking crazy. What's going on? So, preventing all that. <laughs> 10 cars and two limos. So, you got these six, four more, and two limos? Yeah, we can, go we can go color crazy. We can go all types of different cars. We can, you know, we can go color coordinated. There's so many options. All blue car, I want to be the all yellow car, you know what I mean? Well, you have to have a decision here. So, I mean, if you come with a concept, we could either like also theme it out, be like wide body, like in 20, like 21 wide body, or 20, or sorry, like 2023 wide body. We can do like, um, that's what we're doing for this year. Like we're theming it certain different ways each year, you know? Just like we do for a museum ex exhibition. Yeah, like last year we basically bought all Koenigs almost, you know? Most of Koenigs, we bought like yeah. three Koenigs. Yeah, we do all like Japanese JDM imports. We can do all, you know, wide body cars, bunch of red, like colors. We do well, white, black. Talking about the Rick Ross Car Show 2023. Uh, trying to figure out what cars uh, we're going to be taking out there to Atlanta this year. We're going to be bringing 12 cars this year. Last year we brought eight cars, so uh, we hooked up a millionaire, our guy Millionaire, shout out to him, Millionaire Transport, and um, we're going to make it happen. Well, in case you were wondering, you know, check on the Y Body 60 Blue, Midnight Blue. If you haven't seen the video on that, check it out here or here, somewhere here. All right, guys, like you know, we already dropped off the C126 AMG Wide Body with the M119 motor to get repainted. Very, very special unicorn straight from the Middle East, Ali Heli Classic. So let's check it out and let's see where we are in the process right now. So right here, you guys remember, for the car got damaged when the C140 S72 one of seven fell on it. We're getting that done, and that's what prompted this whole uh, was that damage. We said we might as well paint the whole car. Here we are now. Sunroof has been removed. That windshield is still in. They haven't removed it yet. They were thinking about removing it, but they're scared of some seals breaking and stuff. So we're just dealing with that right now. So this is the seal. What they did sometime in the past was blue, blue it in, put urethane in here. I've managed to dig it out from here to here. Okay, so you're lifting it and shaping it up. I got you. Yeah. I see it. Mercedes had this neat little trick from years ago. You'd rope it, pull it back, get the paint in there, and your paint never peels. So for us to try and tape on here and do that, it's going to peel. So we dug it. it out. Are you able to lift the bottom part, or is it? Oh, you can. Yeah, we. I got all that cleaned out. Now we just put these in here and. Got you. Oh, I see, that's cool. And that's all we need. Yep. Now we need an eighth of an inch more to get that paint down in there, so in the future it's not gonna peel from there. Perfect. So, uh, and we got a little bit of rust going under here. Right here, it's uh, right through to the primer. This is factory, this is all original here. Yeah. This is where we saw before being painted on the sides before. Yeah, that's you can see the difference there. Yeah. So this is all epoxy around here once we pull the roof out. It's starting to peel the rust around yeah. there.
So here are my messy auto design guys. I'm gonna pick up my GLE that's been wrapped for the third time. 63, it's gonna be real pretty and green, so see how it comes out, should be fun. Came out great. Color matched the calipers. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, color matched it all. This is what we're talking about. This is how you know a job as well, though. Your rap guy is doing the right job if he does this. I don't have to look. I know it's going to look like this already. When you have your stickers done like that, the wrap cuts so finely around, the stickers are higher than the wrap. That's how you know it's a good job. You can actually sense. It looks like it's put on top, but no. It's cut around perfectly. It's a great wrap, though. Yeah, so we painted this. We restore. Remember how bad this was? all broken all, up, yeah. All the plastic. We redid the lights. So we took this car apart. What, what, what broke the plastic? Where was the plastic too old on this car? Where it kind of broke apart. You mentioned there's some areas where it broke apart. Well, then like this, this right here. I ordered a new one. Yeah, this where both are broken. Yeah, yeah. And no, man, besides that, then a few clips because of taking it apart and stuff. We fixed it. I ordered a little part just to put it back together. The wheels came out great looking. Beautiful. We have the front grill painted. So you painted it? Yeah. Wow. Looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks so much better. And uh, we restore all the grill. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Huh? I think uh, I don't think anything else can do to it. It's yeah, it's important with these wraps is that when you get it done, the right guy will tell you. If you go to the right person, like our friends here, they'll tell you put the car outside. And what happens? The reaction happens. Yeah. Usually. Well, the, the film has to cure. So in Florida, especially, the weather is gonna the, the sun's gonna make the film shrink. And, and cure it. So if it's a reaction, it's gonna happen afterwards. We don't know if it's gonna even happen. So you guys come, can we bring it back? You take you care make, of it yeah, and once, get it perfect. Yeah, so within a month, you bring it. When you start seeing things, don't touch them. We'll fix them when you bring it back. And then after it's that, that it's done. Then after that, it's done, it's gone. I think I'll, like last wrap I got maybe three years out of it, the year before I got maybe a year and a half, two years out of it, only because I wanted to change the color. You want to change it, but, but the like first this, one was. Now this now maybe because it's a better uh, yeah. user 3M film, this should maybe hold outside park three, four years yeah. at least. Yeah, if you were to keep the first wrap that we did the first time, that, that dead matte black, yeah. three, four years, it would have looked nice. Yeah. I also it was don't the same brand as This well. car, I, I don't keep in a garage, I keep it outside because I want to hop in and quickly get it out. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't mind wrapping it over and over again, but it looks brand new. The car looks brand new. Yeah, it's it looks amazing. like it again. Uh, headlights restore, we put the PPS paper protection film on it, so it looks nice and shiny. I think the cars are 2017 or 2018. 18. 2018, so really five, almost six years old now. Yeah, yeah it looks amazing. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. Came out. Awesome. Now, Whenever you get a car wrapped, it's like you're getting a new car all over again. Super exciting. So I'm really psyched to take it out there. And if you see me, say hi. Just don't bother me too much. Let me enjoy the car. You inspecting? Giving a little inspection, see where if there's high spots from wax to good. I know I gotta wash bowls inside. The interior is looking crisp, I can tell you that. It smells good. She was smelling stinky before. Beautiful, yeah, it was nasty, right? I like our good. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Another day in paradise, kingdom of Boca Raton, the Mecca. You already know what it is. So today we're going to be heading to Silva Auto Body and Collision and be checking out the ABC exclusive C126 that's been getting painted for a while. So let's see what's going on with that. The Picasso is also getting wrapped up today. So we're going to see what's up with Julio. A lot going on, guys. Another day in the Mecca. Matt cars arrived a few days ago. So we're sorting through everything. Let's go. Yeah. So it's a, see the Mercedes logo up higher than the BMW. BMW is haram. Yeah, so right now what we got going on over here, they started sanding, you can see, uh, they sanded over here. I guess we had some rust spots 
right here. Um, if you look around the car, if you come this side, you can see they rest, they're taking out this. Yeah, they're going right here. first. They're going here. So um, all these spots on the body, as you can see, they're bringing it yeah. down to the bare metal. Oh, wow. So all the way back here and here. The whole trunk has been sanded. What do they do when they, well, how do they fill it? I mean, it's like Bondo uh, or something? That's the secret sauce we can't give out. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so very special build here. Obviously. That's deep right here. Yeah, right? Well, but they went because there's like a... Yeah, right so there. all around, they're doing the same thing. They're getting it right. Uh, they're gonna look and find all the weakness, the weak spots in the body kit like this, sand it down, grind it down, then rebuild it. That's what they usually do. So they know how to do it. They did our last C124 wide body ABC, so they got it right. So we trust our guys over here.